This video is intended for educational purposes only and is no way to be seen or thought as a way to rip off the Amazon App Store on any purpose. Please use these methods in your own decision. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nathan here and welcome back to a quick tutorial really of how to put books and movies onto your Kindle HD Fire. First of all you've got questions like, there's no option for movies in the Kindle. There is, and it's not visible, there is personal videos but this is where we go and stay tuned watch the whole video because it will help you out and it's basically going to answer any questions you've got hopefully already but if you do have any questions or want to know anything else just comment below and I'll gladly reply. reply. So in this internet here I've got some links which I put in the description to help you guys out and show you how it works hopefully it should be a quick video but also help you out much easier. So we'll go into books first. First of all you want to download the books. This is quite simple all you do is type it in your browser or engine search engine what book you want and then just put the end of it ebook. And basically ebooks or epub, whatever you want to talk about it, if you want to open ebooks. So this website's good as well, I'll put this one in the description. And all you do is click download ebook, it will download, and then you want to put it in the converter, which this website here will do. Choose the file. So say say this is my file, I click on it, and then target ebook reader file. You know, it does it for you anyway, so it's much simple. And if you first thing question you're probably wondering. Kindle only accept, or Kindle Fire only accept EPUB format, and here's one here, Mobi format. So any ones they will recognise and actually show up on your Kindle. So that's why you want to use this converter. You probably can find books in EPUB, but majority books in a couple of years, like a couple of years ago from now, will be all EPUBs or books versions. So that's why you've got to use this converter. But if you can find them in EPUB already, that's good for you. But this is mostly what you have to do. But it's free, no membership required. It won't take ages. It's really short. So it's quick. So once for books, the final format is EPUB. You can leave that there. You can skip to the video now to where we put them on. If you're just here for the book, so you can carry on and watch movies. The annotation will be on the link now. So let's carry on. Movies. This website's got all your movies. MP4 movies for mobile.com. Of course, it doesn't have literally the latest one, which was released last week. But it has. It's really good to say how it has movies from last year, like The Woman in Black. And let's remember, this isn't just a movie website downloading. This is for m m mobiles. Wondering why it's MP4? Again, same thing as books. Kindle only recognises a certain format, and this is MP4. You can, of course, download a movie normally, AVI, WMV, whatever format, but you will have to convert it, and the disadvantages of this are it takes ages because it's nearly, well, it's half a gig. If your computer's good, fair enough, but you, you will might lose the quality. And on Kindle, if you lose the quality, it's kind of unwatchable. But yeah, this website has loads of films, let's see, 2012, 2013. It's a really good website, and I recommend you go on it. Download or instant, you know, it takes you to like say file there, that's one. And you may want to put a caption or 60 seconds, but every time there will be free, there's no membership required, so just wait the time, because you will at the end download it, and here's the file size. So for this, if you download it in MP4, you've done it straight away. And let's move on now to how you put it on. So to, of course you need to connect your Kindle, and if you're thinking, oh, I haven't got a cable, you do have a cable, every Kindle in the box comes with a black cable. USB at one end and the adapter oh, the other side for the Kindle. Once you plug it in, it will actually open up the Kindle thing, but if you don't know how to get it and you closed it, open up your files, go on computer, pop down here. Kindle will be here and it will show you your, your memory. I mean, there's different gigabytes, but you actually get a decent amount of that memory. Okay, so now we're in the internal storage. First of all, we'll do books. So don't go on this and say, well, it is books, I'll put it in here, because it's not. This is if you buy books on the Amazon App Store. It won't come up on books. You want to go into Documents, and then here you want to drag in your EPUB or Mobi file. So let's just pretend I downloaded it, I've converted it into this or Mobi. I can now just drag it into this. And it's really simple, so all you do is literally just drag it in, and there's no folder or anything, you just drag it in, and as soon as you've actually dragged it in, you, op you turn your Kindle on, whatever you've done, and on the carousel bit, it would appear there straight away. And a question, uh, not a question as much, but if you want to know, about cover wise some books like the series of unfortunate events I download they do have a cover some don't you know it's just like a new artist I know this isn't a big issue really but you know if you want to know what books you're reading and they don't have a thing don't worry because the first page will tell you and there are ways to make artist ones but you know it's not a big issue so anyway carrying on that's how you put books on remember it is documents not books and you can just delete them delete them off here delete them off there or whatever you want to do now we'll go on to the movies, the last one, much more easier, you click on the movies file folder and once it's downloaded you drag it in. 
much simply, so I just drag it in, and these are two moves I got, 2 hours, 1 hour 17, Space Jam. You know, it's just that simple, that's literally all you've got to do. Download your movie in MP4, drag it in, watch a movie. Download an ebook, convert it, in the folder, you've got your books. And guys, again, this video is attended to educational purposes only. I'm not saying, stop the Amazon App Store, don't go on there anymore, download your books for free, save money. But I'm saying, you know, for movies, because there's actually not an option, like a movie store, you've got a, it's a personal video, so these, if you're wondering when the movies show up, they show up in the personal videos, that comes with the Kindle, so find it, it is there, and it's quite simple to find. That's all about it, guys. I think, again, this is good if you just, you're waiting in the airport for ages, or you, you got some bad time, or you're going away on holiday, because you just get loads of books, get a movie, movies use a lot of time up, so they're good. And again, I, this isn't any way just a sunny scam, yeah, not scam. To save those money, do it when you want, but the, the Amazon app store is there and does offer a variety of books. It's much simpler and quicker as well than this, but it's up to you really. You'll earn money or whatever, but again, this is a bit educational purposes only. Because I've been Nathan, if you enjoyed the video and it helped you, I hope it does, like it, please um, subscribe if you're interested in more videos. I sometimes do tutorials, but the rest are more gaming wise. I'm getting a lot more now, so be part of the channel, be helpful. Comment if you have any questions or answer them, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.